uh, you know, being Chinese in those days was positive and negative. Yeah. Positive in that they always see Chinese being not, not never in any trouble, they're always quite bright, work hard, they go to university, and they, you know, they, they open restaurants, their business. That's a kind of positive stereotype. But the negative side is you're still an ethnic minority. I left the Met, the police because I'd done everything I wanted to do. Um, I was the first Chinese guy to reach kind of senior rank, and I would have been, I suppose, the first Chinese chief constable if I stayed. But uh, I felt that there was a bigger world out there, and I'd done everything 17 years in the Met, 20 years in the public sector in total. I've done my bit for the Chinese community, and I felt I wanted to do it for myself. So that's why I decided to go into the private sector. Britain has changed from, from the 80s and 90s to now. It's, it's a lot more diverse, a lot more accepted. My wife is English. Uh, I remember when we were dating in, in the 80s, people used to look at us very strangely, thinking, wow, there's a mixed couple there. You know? And actually, some of my police colleagues used to say, yeah, well, it's disgraceful that you foreigners come over and take all the white women. <laughs> that was a kind of attitude that people say those something openly. You don't get that anymore, yeah? thank goodness. Uh, so I think Britain's has changed. Right. The most inspiring person was my old teacher. The teacher said to me one day, George, I can imagine you when you grow up in a three-piece suit jetting around the world as some corporate exec for a big oil company. I was thinking, well, why did she say that to me? I, you know, I'm terrible at school, I'm really bad at everything, you know. How would you? And I think that just gave me this, and lots of my peers, 90% of them all went to the dockyard, all went to the dockyard uh, as manual labourers or apprentices. Yeah. So that was the kind of the expectations for people. But she gave me a different view of different expectation. I think that, that was very motivating. Um... I mean, want to seek to end the palm, it's not because I'm Chinese. Okay? It's because it's been put to me and I felt I can, is that my life experience and my professional experience, all those perspectives um, are useful um, to go to palm. In fact, I'm Chinese is a bonus, because what I could bring is that cross-cultural perspective help the Chinese have a voice and maybe to help you know Britain and China uh, on a diplomatic front to actually bring the country. My motto in life has always been that the graveyard is full of indispensable people which tells me that to keep it real because I'm not that important really in the scheme of things because there's hundreds and hundreds of people who have achieved so much more in their life who are so influential and they died and then guess what the world goes on. I'm realistic to know that uh, whilst I'm here I could make a contribution, I could have fun, I could make a positive impact.